Hi everyone and welcome to the review of Island Darn 101, this little guy here. Um, he is roughly 10 centimeters tall and as you can see he has a bit of a bobble head which is, I mean, okay because it's meant to be cute and whatnot. So yeah, that's him. Um, the body blushing has been done by the company. I think it was $10 so that was really a nice price for body blushing and it's actually pretty well done. Um, the the face-up is not by the company, um, this I made myself, and it was, I mean, fairly, or it is fairly simple, it's not anything super elaborate, and just, you know, I tried to stick with the style of the body blushing, so it doesn't look too different. Your close-up. So, as you can see, he has at the moment green eyes, 10 millimeters. Um, he originally came with bluish eyes, with a hint of pink, I think. Um, but I bought him eyes already because I knew I wanted him with green eyes. And yeah, let's start from the top. <laughs> so, like I said, his head is very, you know, bubbly kind of. But he moves it fairly well. There's only one issue like going trying to go back is just not happening and if you push too fast the o-hook is gonna zip <laughs> uh, jump out and you're gonna have the head in your hand because i feel the o-hook is a little bit too small you also can't really you know make him look forward so anything um front or back i mean forward or backwards does not really work but you know side to side is okay so now let's look inside. I have one thing before I open a head cap. Um, as you can see, they did a really nice job uh, regarding the head cap. There is pretty much no discernible transition between the head cap and the head. And I just love this. And it's unfortunately a very rare thing. The only other company um, I have seen with head caps like that was Doll Family A. So I really like that, because, you know, if you have this discernible transition here, it usually looks kind of funky. Although, to be fair, usually um, the dolls wear wigs, so it's not such a big deal. But in this guy's case, he might not actually wear a wig. It's a bit difficult to get off, though. So, now here are the insides of his head. You have a little strap here that was already there when I got him. The eyes, which are fairly easy to put in. I have to say, compared to my Kazari, any uh, doll is easy to put the eyes in because the Kazari is just an absolute pain. And here you can maybe see the O hook. Show you this up close. So I feel the O hook is really small and it could easily be bigger. I mean, it's not like there's not enough room. So that's something to improve on. The magnets are very decent actually. Like you just saw, I have troubles getting this head cap off because first of all, there's no transition. Um, and secondly, it's really kind of, you say this, uh, the magnets are fairly strong. I mean, for such a tiny head cap. Let me show you the head cap up close. It's the inside and it's the outside. It has island written on the back side of it. The resin is very nice. Um, he's my first island doll, so I can only compare him to dolls on and doll leaves. And I'd say it's really, really nice resin. Sturdy. I did not see any, you know, like thin spots. To be fair, though, there's not enough room for that. His eyes are pretty. Uh, his eyes. His ears are pretty, you know, sturdy. And uh, there's not a lot of room for any kind of thinness. So, let's move on. Um, let me just, you know, start off with the body blushing. I really like the way it's done. As you can see, you know, the pink and the hooves, which is really cute. Those are his legs. And they did not paint the bottom. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> it's not such a big deal. Um, but it would have been nice if they actually painted the bottom too. And... You can see they made this area pink 
And one thing that happened apparently. Sorry for <laughs> what a funny position. You can see there's a bit of pink on the leg. So I will clean this off. I just wanted to keep it until the review so I can show it. It's the same thing on the other side. So I don't know, they maybe blushed him in like one piece without uh, disassembling because I can't really explain how this happens if you disassemble it all and blush it. Unless this was on purpose, but I don't think so. It really looks more like it happened when they were blushing this area. So now to the mobility. Um, he's single jointed because there's just not a lot of room in this guy. <laughs> But he has actually pretty wait, pretty nice movement. And he has pretty tiny strings too. He can touch his face, I think, right? Sort of. Kind of. Yeah, he can. <laughs> to be fair though, his head is very big, so. And he can, you know, he can move the elbow this much. You can push it further, but it's just gonna snap back. He can move his hoof. <laughs> Let me just stretch this arm out so you can see better. So that's the the hoof movement. Pretty decent. I was actually positively surprised. Same of course goes for the other hand. He can stretch his arms out. Right? Like that. And you know, move it up. Or whatever. Uh, he can occasionally hold stuff in between, but you're gonna be at his mercy <laughs> for keeping it this way because, you know, usually he just kind of snaps back. But the, I say the standard stuff like stretching out or holding up, he can do without any problem. So that was nice. <laughs> and now the, the torso joint. He has one here at the top. I was actually surprised by how well it holds and how far it goes. Let me just move up his arms. I'm actually tempted to take his head off, <laughs> but that would not exactly give you the full picture, so I just try to lock his arms here. Okay, so let's start with going back. There isn't so much room actually for going back, so but like no room I'd say, but he can go pretty far to the front. So from here, and he'll keep it, which is really cool. So he's a pretty good sloucher. <laughs> and he can also, I think, go sideways, yeah, and that pretty well too. So I was like positively impressed with that. And it does not usually snap back, so it's kind of, you know, holds it well in place. Um, yeah, the next thing, let's move on to his legs and don't have any illusions, this guy does not stand. If you get him to stand, like, you should totally film that because that's probably a miracle or something. And, you know, I thought he might stand because his hooves are really flat. But, yeah, his bubble head doesn't help the issue. So, don't bother. You know, don't bother trying. Um, so, and actually, I think he'd have... Uh, let's start with those here. You can <laughs> kind of, you know, of course no mobility joints in this scale, can't say I blame them. But you can rotate it up and down, pull it out, it looks like this. Normal ball and socket. So he does like, kind of pushes the leg, if you move it up, it kind of pushes outwards. Like this. And you can rotate it pretty far, like do crazy ballerina stuff, but it will move sideways and it will look rather weird, you know, like funky. <laughs> and the same of course for the others. Now, the thing is, he really does not have a lot of mobility in those. So, like, you can do this much. And he won't even usually hold it in place very well. Usually it snaps back. You kind of fiddle with it a bit, and yeah, this is this is all of it, I'd say. Um, his his lower legs. I mean, you can try to do stuff like this and try to balance him back, so he's kind of kneeling, but because he's single jointed, 
there isn't, you know, a whole lot you can do with his lower legs, and especially given the shape of him. And oh yeah. So now let's take a look at his back again. Here you have a tiny fluffy tail. Of course it's not the uh, joints or anything. <laughs> it's just there. It's really cute though. Um I did a photo shooting photo. <laughs> I did the photo shooting with him as well. And it's well, he doesn't stand very well unless he has some kind of support and even then it's kind of tricky. So he does photograph well, like really well. Um but yeah, there's just, you know, he is not overly articulate, which is, I mean, which is understandable given the size. Um, but he's super adorable, so he will, you know, look cute, whatever you do with him. And I have to say, I think he was around 110 plus 10 dollars for the body blushing. And I do not regret it, because he's just super cute. And uh, what I did in regard to the sheep costume he comes with originally, I think it clocks in at $40 and I was like, no way. So um, I just made a shoot, a shoot sheep, <laughs> sheep suit uh, myself and let me, you know, show it to you. Uh, just change him and see you in a moment. Okay, actually before I put it on, <laughs> let me show it to you. Uh, it's. I oriented myself on the company pictures, so I made something similar, but I made it a little differently. First of all, um, his hoodie has holes for his ears. The original sheep suit worked around the ears and did not actually cover this part. I will, I'll just show you a picture so you can compare them later, um, so you have a rough idea of what the difference is. I also made a hole for his tail. Um, it, well, the tail isn't so big, so it's kind of pointless. It does, you know, stick out just a little bit. And the way I made it was, I just, I just took him and I took like, you know, the fabric and made sure there's enough fabric. So I also have enough uh, place for the hoodie. And then I just, you know, folded it and I turned it inside out, of course. So like, you know, like the the inside was outside. And then I sewed it together in the middle, so there's no buttons or anything on this one. And took it off, and then, you know, put the hat on, and adjusted the hoodie, and just, you know, also still inside out, made the hoodie. Um, I think it took me like an hour, and the amount of fabric I needed to make it was, I don't know, maybe a euro, maybe less, a dollar, oh, let's say a dollar, okay, sorry about the euros. <laughs> um, so maybe a dollar, okay, or two. And compared to 40 euros, or 40, 40 dollars currency, oh my god, um, compared to 40 dollars for the sh original company sheep suit, I have to say, uh, you know, if you can hold a needle and you know how to put a thread in a needle, you can just do it yourself. It's no black magic or anything, and I'm not even good at sewing, so, you know, just really try to make it yourself, and yeah. Now, <laughs> before I start struggling on camera with this one, I'll just, you know, quickly put it on him and show you what it looks like. So, this is him in his uh, handmade sheep costume. I'm sure you could optimize, like, I, I wish I had made the front a little longer so it hangs more into his face. Um, but I can just make another sheep suit. As I said, it didn't take very long, so it's not really a big deal. Here in the back you see the tail sticking out, and you can't actually see his ears sticking out, but they do. Like here is the ear, and this is the other ear. It's very subtle, um, even you know, you can just make also the head bigger and not have the ear stick out if you don't want that. But it's really simple, um, only downside is you do have to take off the head every time you want to put it on. But it's, first of all, made sewing really easy because I don't need to put in any buttons or whatever. And secondly, it's not a big deal to take his head off. It's like, yeah, super simple. So I don't really mind it as part of his dressing routine. There. It's mostly fluff, you know, it has a lot of discernible shape. But uh, yeah, he is absolutely adorable. I like him. 
and I can wholeheartedly recommend if you're looking for some cute chibi then he makes a great uh, purchase. So I hope this was useful and if you have any questions do let me know in the comments as usual and I'll try my best to answer them and see you soon. Bye bye!